Hello everyone, it's me, Lipo Sims here, and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download Sims, I mean, how to create <laughs> Sims for custom content on your Windows computer. Sorry, Mac people, but this is only for Windows because people haven't created one for Mac. What you'll need, and I will leave um, links in the description below to download these things is you'll need Sims 4 Studio, Photoshop CS2 or up and then you'll also need a DDS plugin and that my friends is will help you to make custom content and that is necessary so whether or not let's get started and enjoy so yeah first we're going to open up Sims 4 Studio Is it opening? Okay, yeah. So then make sure on the cast, create cast standalone. And we're going to make the gender female. You know, we have so many females, right? Let's make it male because there's not really enough male stuff. So adult and let's make it clothing top. And searching, okay, so now we can select our top. You want to custom content make. I'm going to do very simple since this is a tutorial. Put on these special zipper things and all the, on all that stuff. Oh, and the next tutorial is going to be how to create custom content hair recolors and texture. I'm just looking for a, um, just a plain. Oh, like that. So we're going to click a shirt like this. And it's going to be plain. So we're going to click here. Or maybe we should do... Yeah, like a plain shirt like this. Okay. Click a plain shirt. Any color. And then press next. And then you'll come to this page. And it says save as type. D B PF. Make sure it's selected on this. Okay? And then name a file type, which is going to be um, Live for Sims Men's Shirt. Okay. And then it will save to your desktop right here. And this is a shirt, and you'll see the texture on the texture, these things. What you want to do is press export. Make sure file is on the CDS, make sure, and then name it um, men's shirt or any name you want to do. One and save. And then you'll see men's shirt one right here. Double click. Oh, and I'm gonna close this other thing that I made. No, I don't need that. Okay, so then it'll come to this page. Most likely, you won't have something else already created, so just come to this page. <laughs> And now we can call it the shirt. So let's call it the shirt. So we'll go here into your colors and let's pick a manly color. Eh, let's pick just green, right? A nice green. Or maybe like a blue. Or I don't know. Um, I guess green is kind of nice, right? Let's just, just do green. So select your green. Let's click the, that one. Okay. Press OK. And we're going to make a new layer by clicking this button. And a new layer is created. And select this um, little box here. And make sure it's on the square or this thing. And then from the top right here, drag all the way to the bottom. And then the whole thing will be selected green color. Go back to your little thing over here. And on the layers, when it's on layer 1, normal, press color. So now the shirt is green and it came from reddish gray to green. Now we can add a logo or a picture on, on it. So we're going to add a picture on it. Go to file up here. Open. And go to, I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And add an image. Okay. Oops, not that one. Ah, oh, that's not my account. Okay. 
one more time. Open um, and do this. Image right here. It's Live for Sims YouTube logo. And on the hair, this little box right there. Looks like the whole thing. I'll do that over again. Okay, and then press, and then copy it by pressing Control C or going to Edit and Copy. Then close this out and then press Edit and Paste. And you can sort of see it here. Click this thing here. And um, we're going to drag it on top here. And then on this thing here, click this. Show transformation controls. And you can make it bigger. Like that. And then we're going to click this. Apply. And click this tool right here. And we're going to undo this right here. It's still bigger. And drag this down here right there and literally we just made a custom content shirt and now we're going to press file and save and make sure it is on a DDS again men shirt one copy make sure it's on DXT5 on the save format make sure and then press the minus button right here and then we're going to go back to Sims 4 Studio import and this one right here one copy just drag the hair okay let's go to desktop let's do it the manual way go to the file that we just made open and one two three look at that that is wonderful I kind of I kind of like it maybe I should post this <laughs> so um yeah and Let's zoom in, if I can learn how to zoom in. I don't have a mouse, I'm, I'm using a laptop, so it's kind of hard for me to zoom in. I like that, okay. So, that is a shirt, Live for Sims YouTube, and, can I like turn it? So, I guess not. Um, yeah, so that is a shirt, and that's how to make custom content. Then you want, what to do is save, and package has been saved and downloads or somewhere on your computer and then you can upload it to the TSR and there you have it or to any any place and people can download it or you can use it so thanks for watching give it a big thumbs up comment rate and subscribe and see you guys later bye